Last week, we learned about records and tuples, which are two ways built into OCaml of creating your own new data types. This week, we're going to look at variants, which are an exciting new way to build data types. It's going to start off looking pretty familiar. Perhaps you've seen types in other languages that let you enumerate different constants that could be part of a type, like an enum, it's sometimes called. OCaml has something similar to that with variants, where we can say type, in the name of the type, let's say primary color, and give some constants that are then the values of that type. So we're basically enumerating what they are. So maybe a primary color would be red or green or blue, for example. And now we could have values of that type. Let R of type primary color be red. And you'll notice that if I hover over it, it is a primary color. And of course, I didn't need to put in that type annotation. OCaml could have inferred that for me. R is a primary color. So that's the simplest kind of variant. But there are definitely more interesting variants as well. So let's try to create a variant for shapes. We're going to represent shapes in the Cartesian plane. And to help me with that, I will recall the type that we have for points. Let's make it float star float today. So this is a float. Uh, this is a point in the Cartesian plane with an x and a y coordinate. Let's create a type for shapes. There's a bunch of shapes in the world. How about we create circles and rectangles? Now, circles and rectangles, of course, in addition to the, the shape that they have, could be located somewhere in the plane. So let's represent a circle with the coordinates for its center point, as well as the measure of its radius. So that means we need some additional information along with just this name here, circle. We can do that with variants by saying of. When I say of after circle here, I'm saying that it's not just a circle, it also consists of other data that need to be carried along with that fact that it's a circle. And what is that data? Well, we said we wanted a center point and a radius. We use a record type for that. So center of, uh, let's have a center point. So we'll have a field named center whose type is point and a field named radius whose type is float. Now I can have such circles. Let C1 be a circle that carries along with it uh, its center. Let's say that it's at uh, the origin. So 0, 0.0, 0, 0, 0.0 could be the coordinate of that center point. Now, of course, I need to give the name of the field there because this is a record. And I also need a radius. So the radius, let's say it's just the unit circle. So it has a radius of 1. There we go. Now C1 is of type shape. Actually, you know what? I don't want to make this shape, so let me make it singular. There we go. OK. What about rectangles? Well, there's a bunch of ways we could represent rectangles, too. Let's decide to represent them with just two points, their lower left coordinate and their upper right coordinate. So the rectangle needs to carry along some more data as well. Uh, I'll make it a record again. Lower left of type point and upper right of type point. Now I could have, for what this data is carrying here, I could have instead of saying a record there, done point star point. As we know, um, with records and tuples, the difference is just by position versus by name. For design purposes here, I find it easier to keep track of which point is which by labeling those fields with names, lower left and upper right. If I just made it a tuple like this, I would personally always be forgetting like which is the lower left, which is the upper right, or did I really do upper left and lower right? So I find that this makes the code more self-documenting. Let's create a rectangle. So our rectangle could be rectangle. Its lower left coordinate could be, oh, let's have it be at negative 1, negative 1 and its upper right could be at 1, 1. It's 
falling off the screen a little bit just because I have my font set size set pretty high so that you can see it when you're watching these videos.